with him for Marcus. Say that again. You're sitting by Danny, could you put in a word about Marcus for him? Absolutely. You know, Marcus, what he brings to the table is, is second to none. You know, the analytics, all of that, throw that away. Marcus adds to a, to a team and a franchise. Everybody knows. You know what I mean? So I think Danny knows that away, and I feel like something to come and the best situation will happen for both parties. But I, mean, I would love to play this next year with Marcus Smart. I feel like everybody feels the same way. You know, when it, when it gets into the politics and the money and the business of it, you know what I mean? I have, can't do nothing but respect and understand it. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. So you can't really get too emotional about it. It's a business. You know what I mean? A lot of guys get caught up because they get their heart and stuff in, in the mix of it. But at the end of the day, it's business. So I would love to have Marcus on the team, and he makes my job so much easier defensively, you know, what he does. So, man, we need him, but we'll figure it out. He, he was at the event last with you. Yeah. How was he doing, um, kind of with the situation, and kind of hoping to come back on? Yes, yeah, my guy. Man. I go to his events, he goes to my events, you know. Me and Marcus in this, this past two years, you know, we started off like a rocky relationship, but throughout the years, you know, we've, we've definitely grown closer and respected each other. You know what I mean? What we do, we, like, we have similar mindsets. Like it's, it's like guys that kind of sit, it's, it's, it's two types of kind of players. We've got guys that kind of sit back and like let the game develop and wait for the game to come to them. And there's guys that take it to you, you know what I mean? And throw the first punch. And me and Marcus throw the first punch for sure. How is he doing with kind of the situation this summer, the uncertainty with it and all that? I mean, you have to talk to him to find out exactly where he is. But I mean, you know, I just wish the best for him. You know what I mean? I hope that the, the right situation manifests for him and his family. And I'm sure it will, you know what I mean? And if he ever needs something, he'll sure he can pick up the phone and call. But I, I just hope the situation works out for him. With, the, with Kyrie and Gordon coming back and then what you guys accomplished last season, what's the level of excitement like for you guys and what are kind of the internal expectations for next year? Um, it's tough to, it's hard when you, always, when you put expectations on things. We just want to be the best team that we can be as possible. Like right now, that's what we're thinking. We want to just continue to get better. You know what I mean? We don't know what the final roster is until you know later in the summer. So right now we're just trying to be the best version of ourselves and bring that to the table. You know, uh, we got a lot of great talent on this team, but a great coach. So you know, we're thinking we're trying to we're trying to raise a banner, but uh, we got to make sure that we, we take care of ourselves, eat healthy, and, and start for the long haul. We got to start thinking now rather than start thinking later. Look at you guys are disappointed that Gershon did a bow and arrow dab out there. I know, yeah. Gershon hit a three. He's supposed to do the, the yabu dab. Arrow and dab. <laughs> <laughs>